influencer page outreach really boils down to creating allies. In your niche, you are sure to have competitors. However, some of these competitors are open to cooperating with you. Many will not give you the time of day, but there are few who would see the strategic advantage of partnering up instead of competing. There are also other people on Facebook who have pages and who are not competitors with you. They may even have a lot of fans. Here's how you build alliances with influence leaders on FB. Step number one, find competitors. The first thing that you need to do is to look at your notes when you reverse engineered your competitors. These people are in the same niche as you. After all, you studied them to get the industry standard content strategy as well as page layout and design for your own Facebook page. Next, you should look for non-competitors who specialize in your niche. There should be quite a few of these. These are not merchants or ones who provide services. They're not competing for the same dollars as you. Instead, they cater to the same audience as you. Try to find as many of these as possible. Step number two, pay your dues by engaging. I know, at this point, it's very tempting to just go to a competitor's page and post a comment on one of their posts. In the comment, you're dropping a link to your page or to your website. You then repeat this many times on all their posts. Well, let me tell you, if you do this, you're going to get banned. Whatever links you put up will get deleted. It's a waste of time. Don't even think about it. The same applies to influential niche observers. These are non-competitors, but you shouldn't spam them either. Instead, you should pay your dues by engaging. How do you do this? First, you need to share high-quality content. It doesn't matter who wrote the content. It doesn't matter where that content goes to or links to. What's important is that it provides maximum value to anybody reading that content. It has to be on point. It has to deal with a specific theme or topic that you know that your target audience members are interested in. Next, you need to engage with people in terms of answering their questions. Try to be a facilitator. Try to be a mediator. Try to be the go-to source of information for your niche. If people are looking for statistics, go on Google and find them the statistics they're looking for. If they're looking for a video, go to YouTube and search for the content that they're looking for. The more you do this, the more people will pay attention to you because, let's face it, in any kind of online group communication platform, only a very few people actually produce high quality content. You can count them on one hand, most of the time. Everybody else is basically a leech. They take and take information, but they only give from time to time, if at all. Be that expert. Be that go-to resource. Another way you can engage is by asking questions. Now, these questions should not be very basic or dumb questions. Instead, they should be deep, insightful questions. You can also ask questions that try to tie many issues together. Maybe people are concerned about many different issues. When you ask questions that tie all these together, it can be very useful. You should also give feedback to people's responses. You have to do this in a respectful way. You cannot come off as a hater or somebody's who's just plain negative. There is such a thing as constructive feedback. Remember, the name of the game here is to add value to the places that you're on. This means sharing information and enhancing information through proper questions and feedback. Step number three, become credible, then reach out at a certain point, people will start asking for you by name. People will try to reach out to you via messenger. That's when you know that you have become an asset to these groups. That's when you know that you are on people's radars. You're not just this random person showing up every once in a while, dropping a link. Instead, you're that person that helps keep these groups together. This is when you reach out. This is when you try to engage with the group administration usually, the best way to do this is when they engage with you. Maybe they mention your name, or they send you a message on Messenger. Whatever the case may be, try to wait for them, 
or reach a high enough level of engagement and acknowledgement from other community members before you reach out. What are you going to be reaching out for? Well, there are many different opportunities on the table. You can ask to swap content with your page. Most page admins don't have a problem with this. You can also ask for a shout out. Basically, the admin of the page that you're on will tell page fans to check out your page because your page is a friend of the page they run. You can go through some ideas regarding joint events. Now, please keep in mind that this is not like a real event where people have to physically go somewhere, or you have to rent out some hall, rent out security, or get food. No. This is an online event. Maybe a seminar, a live Facebook session conducted from two locations, or it can be an interview. Another opportunity on the table is, of course, guest blogging. You probably don't need me to remind you of how value-packed this is. Not only do you get eyeballs to your link, which can produce direct traffic, but you also get tremendous search engine optimization benefits if the partner has a high-value blog. You can also reach out for infographics. This means you create an infographic and you get the admin to post the infographic on their blog with a link back to you. Again, this boosts your SEO chances. Finally, you can collaborate on content. This is custom content intended for both your audiences.